Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Demystify This. Today we will be discussing schizophrenia, a highly misunderstood and common disease. It's present in 1 in every 100 individuals from the ages 18 to 35. That's around 300,000 Canadians to date. So let's head to my classroom to further discuss the causes of schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is actually caused by a mixture of factors, environmental and genetic. There is not one root cause. However, certain genes might predispose an individual to having schizophrenia. A study was done in 2015 on two identical twins and it showed that if one twin had schizophrenia, the second twin would have a 50% chance of getting schizophrenia as well. Also, there are questions about the childhood environment. Did this child suffer abandonment issues? Did they go through childhood abuse? Were they going through depression? These kinds of issues may be indicated of the pre-science of schizophrenia. So first, let's head to my lab to further discuss the symptoms associated with schizophrenia. Hi, symptoms associated with schizophrenia often vary in severity. Sometimes patients experience hallucinations where they see or hear people's voices telling them to do things, or they feel the presence of someone touching their shoulder. This, with the ambiguity of what causes schizophrenia, has led some people to believe that it's a demonic possession in origin. This led to people drilling holes through people's eyes into their skulls to let out the demons. This was just simply incorrect. Even the name schizophrenia, by its Latin root definition, means an individual with a split mind, and this isn't the case. Also, the media in recent years has been portraying schizophrenia patients as violent, aggressive, patients with lots of outbreaks. But this just isn't true. Cases of outbreaks only occur when an individual is dealing with substance abuse. There are actually five different subtypes of schizophrenia with different clinical manifestations. More information on these different subtypes, visit schizophrenia.ca. Now we're going to head on over to the interview section of our segment where we interview a patient with schizophrenia. Today we'll be having a discussion with Mike, a clinically diagnosed schizophrenic. Thank you for joining us today, Mike. I know this must have been hard for you. Let's start off with some simpler questions. Can you describe your illness to us? Uh, yeah, um, I suffer from hallucinations. Um, I see, hear, and feel things that aren't real. And sometimes I'm also depressed. Okay, all right. Um, are you taking any medication for these symptoms? Uh, yes, yes I am. I'm taking antipsychotic drugs. Okay, all right, antipsychotic drugs. Now, do these antipsychotic drugs take away your hallucinations? Um, no, but they help me determine what's real from what's not real. Okay, all right. Now, there's a lot of misconceptions in the media today about schizophrenia. What do you think is wrong with what, pe what people are thinking about your condition? Um, I just, I just think people don't really understand me. They don't know what's going on. You know, they think I'm weird, they think I'm crazy, but I'm not. Uh, so I'm really glad that people are researching and uh, promoting awareness for this condition. Thank you. Well, thank you for sharing, Mike. It's been a pleasure. Um, until next time. Thank you. Schizophrenia is often treated with a combination of antipsychotic drugs and therapy. It has shown evident effectiveness in preventing relapse and readmission patients. However, each case of a, each case of schizophrenia should be treated by a case by case basis based on what their needs are, whether they need antipsychotic drugs or therapy more, because these antipsychotic drugs may have some serious side effects. And so, I hope you've learned something today. I'll see you guys next week on Demystify This. Thank you.